pretty simple concept. You can't win a football game if you can't move the chains. After three games, the UH Warrior football team is dead last, 120th out of 120 Division 1A teams in the category of third down conversions, succeeding just five times in 33 attempts, while the Warrior D ranks 74th in the nation in defending third down. In this bye week, before Hawaii hosts San Jose State, the coaching staff is making third down a point of emphasis. We have to win third downs. That's something that's important. It's important for the offense to keep themselves on the field, and it's important for the defense to get off the field and also get the offense on the football field. So that's a very crucial statistic. You know, I know we're not making plays, but I know our guys that are in there can make plays. It's just a matter of executing, you know, on both sides of the ball, every position from the O-line to the wide receivers to the quarterback. I mean, it's just like I feel like we're taking turns and uh, not executing. Warriors, though, did make time for some fun today. This morning's practice featured the Scout Bowl, a scrimmage between the guys lower on the depth chart. The real deal comes two Saturdays from now as the one and two Warriors open whack play against Dick Tomey's San Jose State Spark. Good evening, everybody. They had no televised draft, and the number one pick didn't hold out for more money. Instead, today's Scout Bowl between the UH football players was a welcome contest that gave the team's red shirts and developing players a chance to shine. More than 40 players were split into two squads this morning. The 30-minute scrimmage allowed players to get extra reps that they typically don't get during a regular practice. Quarterback Jake Santos was the number one overall pick for the green team, and with good reason. The senior won last year's scout bowl today. No different, but it was thanks in large part to this guy, freshman wideout Royce Pollard, who turned in the longest gain of the day, a 35-yard catch and run. They got the green inside of the five, and moments later, he would cash in the only offensive touchdown of the day. Defense got us the ball back twice, and Royce, Royce is probably, the, he's got to be the MVP. Uh, he had two, two catches, one for a touchdown, and one for like 30 yards. So. No, I can't, I can't blame my coach because, I mean, I kind of was the coach. I was calling the plays on offense, and then we let, we let Adam call one play. We fumble in the end zone. There, it gives us a chance to really evaluate guys. You know, they're using our offense and our defense, and, and it gives them a chance to show under full speed. The quarterbacks were live, the whole deal. The real whole deal was the white team coaches, Kayla Watson and Adam Leonard, who may have taken more time in preparing their wardrobe than their game plan. Uh, these are our own clothes out of our own budget, but uh, if anybody wants to donate to Adam Leonard Fund and Keala Watson Coaching Fund, we'd be more than willing to accept any offers. I think our defense played their butts off. I mean, uh, if you take a look at our, uh, my play sheet, I don't have anything because we don't want to uh, confuse them. We're just going to let the players play. I, I thought we was being a little too conservative running the ball. I'm a guy that just likes to go downfield and pass, pass, pass. So um, I thought that we just go one shot with uh, Royce Pollard, and um, he made an awesome catch, you know, unbelievable catch. And, um, you know, that was the game winner right there. Captains as coaches, Warrior Reserves play the second annual Scout Bowl today. I really feel that the two coaches on the losing team, uh, Adam Leonard and Kayla Watson, you know, they need to go to their press conference and explain <laughs> what happened. I really felt the players did what they needed to do. I thought the coaching was on that one team was very subpar, very <laughs> subpar. <laughs> I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. A team captain and coach by Solomon Elamimian and John Estes defeated the squad led by Adam Leonard and Keala Watson today. And for the second year in a row, top draft pick Jake Santos was the winning quarterback, hitting Royce Pollard with the decisive touchdown. Royce is probably, the, he's got to be the MVP. Uh, he had two, two catches, one for a touchdown and one for like 30 yards. So, I mean, he used to be the MVP. He did a great job today. The only other score in the game was a controversial turnover in the end zone. How about Leonard and Watson, though, at least looking the part? You guys look good. What about the results? Well, uh, first off, when uh, you have turnovers, it's hard to stay in any ball game. Um, I think our defense played their butts off. I mean, uh, if you take a look at our, uh, my play sheet, I don't have anything because we don't want to uh, confuse them. We're just going to let the players play. Are those your own clothes, or are you guys sponsored coaches? Well, no, nah, that's um, fashion by Adam Leonard. Uh, you know, and he's a great guy. He knows his fashion. You know, a great general doesn't doesn't dress different than his, than his, you know, than his soldiers. So, you know, just to keep morale up, you know, I'm dressing like them. And that's, and that's, that's what did it right there. I'm not trying to be separate. I'm just trying to be one of the guys. <laughs>
Oh, there were some there were some hits out there. There were some great plays, some great catches, a couple, couple of really good runs. We talked to the other coaches, and basically all we heard was, wah, wah. Oh, well, you know, how, you know how it is. You know, when team loses, they want to cry, foul, and, and whatnot. But that's why we scored two touchdowns instead of one. Now, the team's got the next three days off. Warriors resume practice Monday. Open whack play next Saturday, hosting San Jose 